Hey, welcome back. We are still testing a Tesla FSD supervised 12.3 point six six, mm -hmm. right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, and uh, with uh, Ollie from Autonomy Central. Um, Hello. We are yes. Hey, hey. We are starting at the Costco parking lot, and we're gonna make it down on some freeways and see what we can see. Uh huh. This will be the last uh, last video for FSD here for at least a little bit. Uh, back to your regularly scheduled Waymo. <laughs> Whoa. Good start. <laughs> In front of the cops too. Yeah. Oh goodness. Oh, right. oh yeah. Right there. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh. Wow. What a great start to the video. <laughs> Fun times. Uh, I would like a forklift to cut in front or something. <laughs> See what it renders as. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so yeah, no left. So it doesn't look like it's doing that right turn. Yep. Sweet. And off we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that the opposite side of the road? Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> no. No, please. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. Is that cool for the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's good. It's showing up. Yeah, it's it's fine. Okay. So. Sorry, it's a bit much. No, we're, anytime we're going into the sun anyway, it's kind of a disaster. So. Okay. I say just do whatever. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> okay. This isn't great. <laughs> yeah, luckily, not many pedestrians out here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. But uh, we are still kind of uh, blocking the view of the person on the on the right here. But it's like, well, I think they might be proceeding straight anyway. True. Yeah. I'm not making excuses for this, so this is uh, <laughs> yeah. not great. this so that stuff oh. doesn't come up from my phone. Nice. Okay. 
Sorry, you might have to cut that two seconds out of the video. It's okay. <laughs> or yeah. mute the audio. <laughs> exactly how many seconds we can get away with, but I think, I think two should be okay. Okay. can see it's it's pretty observant. Nice, nice. It is, it is interesting to see you know, the car is far off in the distance there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as they pop in and out of view. And there's no way it can see these lanes here. Yeah. Or those ones there. Or the shape of this. True. It's just there's some kind of mapping going on there. <laughs>
wasn't on that truck, was it? <laughs> no. <laughs> that one. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, so this is, yeah, this is an interesting thing is uh, kind of hovering in blind spots. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Not, not as much. 
much of a reaction. Then again, it's like off to the sides of the front. But it does get to the point sometimes where Whoa. I just go. <laughs> Into that person's blind spot. I would not have done that. No. If, if it were me. No. Um, that could have been. Yeah, but. Oh, sorry, where is <laughs> it? Did they check their blind spot? That's why I let it do it. Uh, I okay. saw them check their blind spot. Got it. Otherwise, I would have disengaged. Oh, I forgot what I was saying now. Oh, yeah. Um, if it gets to the point where you can't see anything, you probably can't see anything either. Ah. And it will pop up on the screen that it may be degraded, or sometimes it will just straight up disengage. Got it. In terms of rain, right. where are we, what are we looking at in terms of uh, capabilities? Uh, it doesn't care. It doesn't really care. So, um, it controls the wipers as well. Um, are those as good as everyone says? Yes, they I, are. I don't wipe for this. They're perfect. There's nothing wrong with them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they are horrible. Uh -huh. <laughs> One time, though, I have had FSD do this completely unprompted. Really? Clean the windshield when there was something over its camera. Oh, okay. Uh, the other cameras can't do that. There's no way to clean them. Yeah. Which would be a problem for a robot taxi. Yes. But, yeah. I don't know if everyone remembers the video demonstration of Waymo's camera cleaners. Tiny little windshield wipers. Yeah, yeah teeny little with compressed air and, yeah. and uh, liquid and all that. Pretty neat. side cameras as well is a different question. I haven't actually seen that. The ones that are way out on the front. Um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't taken too close of a look at those, but I have seen the little windshield wipers on the top one. On the top, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Any thoughts on the Gen 6 hardware? I think the no wheel is great. Yeah. Um, the, the less sensors is interesting. It would be interesting because we're gonna go to the Pizza Museum, right? Yes. Take a look at take a look at the car. At the Zika, yeah. Um, so we'll be able to see the camera placement, the sensors, and that kind of thing when we go. I just I don't I'm not a huge fan of the design of the vehicle. Mm. Probably just because I don't like minivans. Fair. Yeah. But I can't really pass a judgment until I've seen it in person. Same. Probably the same. You can't really uh, sit in it by chance, you know. I don't, I don't think so. I'm not sure. Probably yeah. not. But at least we've got to get to take a look. Yeah. That'd be cool. I don't want to judge it until I've seen it in yeah. person. Because it's quite difficult to tell from pictures. I do find there's a certain element of uh, vibing with the car. When you, when you can see the steering wheel, you can kind of... Anticipate. Anticipate, follow yeah. the motions, follow the G-forces. Yeah. That sort of idea. And I, I don't know if not being able to see the steering wheel would be as comfortable for me. When it, when it comes down to it, I don't, I'm not one that particularly suffers from motion sickness, but I, mean, uh, I could see that being a thing. Maybe. I would agree. Um, yeah. But and I, I hope they keep the turn signal sounds as well. Because there was a there was a point when they turned off the turn signal sounds in the Pacificas. Oh really? And uh, yeah, for like a week or two, and it was really weird. Like you could see that it was still signaling, but it was, I just felt my I felt myself getting jerked around corners, kind of. Yeah. I wouldn't really brace myself for a turn. Uh, could have just been me, but I was like, yeah, there's li little bits of things that you probably need to get used to once they change once they change it up I guess. Um, so interestingly in Arizona these carpool lanes never open up. They're always yeah in a straight line, right? Yeah. So let's try and manually change into one of them. It won't that? do it. Mm. Because of that solid line. Yeah. I, I Yeah I've never actually looked up the rules specifically when it comes to those. Uh, but I just might the whole time I've been driving here. I'm just used to going in and out of the lane whenever it's safe. Yeah. Instead of uh, otherwise, yeah, because it, it doesn't like in the uh, Texas Dallas kind of thing. They have dedicated opening spots and all that, but with physical cones. Yes. And uh, all that jazz. In California, they open up 
into a, a dotted line like the one in the middle of the road here, ah. and then they close up again. Okay. You only really see the cones on like an express lane that you have to pay for. Ah, got it. We have those. <laughs> nice. <laughs> a toll lane. Oh goodness. That's yeah. how bad LA traffic is. <laughs> but um, if you have two people in the car, it's free. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's pay to play, but not really. Well, it depends on the so, on the toll lane. Right. Some of them, it's two plus always is free. Ah. Some of them vary based on the time of day. Got it. And it will show you on the screen. Sometimes it goes up to three plus. And the way you tell it is through this little transponder here. Oh. You can flick the switch from one, two, or three. Okay. Nice. Yeah. And there will still be traffic in the toll lane. <laughs> Subscribers are going to react to FSD content instead of Waymo content. Oh goodness! <laughs> uh, it, it used to be a big topic of discussion. People would always ask me to do FSD videos, and I'd say, "With what car?" <laughs> I saw that on the Q and A on your old website. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh goodness! I haven't updated that silly thing in like a long time. Uh, I guess I could use this as an opportunity to shout out the new refreshed jjrix.com uh, I finally was not lazy and I clicked the single button in my Python script that will update all of the videos uh, timestamps on the website so go check that out um, lovely I just added the last 40 videos to the catalog of timestamp searches gave it a nice coat of paint all that jazz so yeah jjrix.com search up all the different timestamps in the series Wait, well, the Waymo series, at least. That's really cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but... <laughs> uh, fun fact, one of my friends wrote the, the JavaScript for that. I was like... He, he said, I'm in a mood to code right now. I, I'm, I'm itching to code. I need to do something. What do you want? I said, uh, can you make, like, a thing that I can put on my website that you can start typing a search and it'll automatically populate the timestamps, and then when you click on the timestamp, it'll take you exactly to that part in the video? And he said, yes. Give me two hours. <laughs> That's the kind of friend you need. And then he just came back and said, here you go. I was like, oh, sweet. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Huge <laughs> shout out to them. Yeah. Shout out to Jacob. Appreciate you, bro. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm still still using that code. So I, I changed, changed some of the CSS, but that's about it. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that, that'll... Uh, that, that's a handy place to search. I, I'm sorry I let that decay for so long, but yeah. It's Any, fixed now. Anyway, it's, it's, we're good now. I'll, I'll start putting the link back in the description. Uh, yeah, nice. <laughs> oh, did you remove it from your descriptions? Yeah, I, when, at one point or another I just stopped putting it in there. Uh, like, I actually looked at the analytics and it, it was actually a huge driver of traffic. Okay. Um, more so than I would have expected. That was a while ago, so I wonder if we can pick it back up. Because I'm like, oh, people are actually using it. That was, it's kind of nice. Um, so 
we're slowed down to get behind. Yes, so we're coming up on Gilbert Road here. We need to get into that right lane for the... Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, as soon as we crossed the Arizona Avenue, we exited the Waymo service area. So oh, that's a... Uh, we cry. Yeah, we are now in the Eastern Territory of Doom, <laughs> TM. Uh, Maybe when freeways drop. Yeah. It's probably mapped already. Probably. Yeah, okay, so let's see what the heck goes on here. Um, We're gonna miss it. Ooh. Unless there's two lanes? Uh, there used to be, but then they just blocked it all off. Okay, no, we're gonna do a last minute and we're gonna break for no reason. Oh. The person behind us is gonna honk. Oh, sorry. Yep. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's funny. Okay. Toll booth detected. Really? Okay, good lane choice. I always want to be in the far right lane on this one. Now we're going to slam on the brakes. Oh yeah. Oh. Nice. So, this turn sucks. Yep. I, I hate it. It's All the time. It tells me. Creep. Um, Cybertruck. Hello, Cybertruck. I, I, I don't care what anyone says. I love the Cybertruck. <laughs> it looks awesome. Uh, oh, that dude has no fears in life. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you can't really see much, can you? Mm. Yeah, you just kind of have to Whoa. YOLO. Well, sort of. There, I mean, it's it's easier when there's no traffic coming from because you can see the signal off to the far side there. And, once it goes right, it's kind of easier, but, um, yeah, so, okay, so this is a, this is a good, um, good little spot here, mm -hmm. um, because this, this little cross right here is kind of ridiculous with people coming out of the In-N-Out Burger and people going to the In-N-Out Burger. Oh, yeah. People crossing from the Walmart and all that, especially at this time of day, so, it just, it becomes kind of a zoo. And like, even get to play chicken with people that are running stop signs and stuff. So, yeah. Wild West out here. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So are all these people in line for In-N-Out, or are some people trying to get to Walmart too? Uh, column A, column B. Yeah. I think. <laughs> uh, although you, the oftentimes the In-N-Out line does stretch all the way around, but kind of look like. Kinda looks like that's what's happening right now, honestly. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. There's just, there's just a point where it's like, forget it, let's park and go inside. <laughs> oh yeah, fully. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so there's the... Yeah, during the day, this is really interesting because people constantly crossing in front and these speed bumps plus trees and occluded vision and stuff and makes it all kind of a nice little uh, area. Slowing nicely for the bumps too. Good, 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 good. Unlike good. earlier <laughs> in the last video. Yes. Yes. Okay, so it's actually, it doesn't look like we're going to go through the specifically uh, pointed lanes here. But if it were to, it doesn't look like it's showing the pavement arrows, but maybe it would figure it out. Oh, it does show them when you get close to them. Oh, nice, okay. So it could kind of figure out that it's supposed to be one way or another, but... Uh, I think that's also mapped GCF, G GPS data. That would make sense as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's probably going to pull over here. Okay. Now. Or I don't know what it's going to do. It's just going to carry on. Nice. All right, do you want to call it there? Sure. All right. Very, very cool. Well, I think that, yeah, that brings us to the end of video three uh, for this uh, little FSD testing series. I got a huge thank you for, <laughs> for letting me ride along here. Yeah, this this has been great. I uh, <laughs> really appreciate it. Yeah, this has been a really, really fun look at uh, some of the tech 
uh, in other parts of the autonomy driver assistance space. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Uh, hope you have a good one, and see you next time. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>